Hello and welcome to the Dakota Riverbend housing tutorial for the new Dakota Inslands House System. In this video, we're going to be going over a few features coming soon to the DRB. These include what kind of spaces you can buy, who can buy them, where can you buy them, what features does each space provide. So stick around because it's time to create. Howdy everybody, I am Austin BMX with DRB Studios with another DRB feature video. Welcome back to the channel or welcome to the channel. Please like this video if it's helpful and of course, if you're new around here, consider hitting that subscribe button. Recently in New Dakota, we have made it simple for every citizen to own and customize their own space and county. Today, we are going to be going over the basics that you need to know about the new system that adds shared homes and rooms that everybody can own or rent and be given access to a private space to call their own. First, let's go over the two types of spaces that can be offered in county at rollout. These include owned homes and rented rooms, and the name's pretty self-explanatory. Owned homes can be a large room up to a full multi-room and level home that you can own with a one-time price. Some will offer custom swappable interiors or fully furnished, while rented rooms are smaller, always fully furnished, and can be rented for up to seven IRL days at a time. We will get more into the features of each a little bit later on. First, who can buy them? You guessed it, anybody can. Every citizen in New Dakota can own as many spaces as they want. Want a large house in Valentine, but also a small room in Blackwater? No problem. The only restriction is that you cannot have a camp permit placed other than a member camp. And you also must remember that you only own the inside space. All areas outside an instance door is community area. If you are the owner of a camp plot, you will need to pack it up or transfer ownership. More on that feature can be found in another video. Where can you buy these spaces? Buying or renting a space is simple. You just go up to the door and select buy or rent. You also have the option to preview the space to get an idea of its potential before you commit. To find locations, you can go exploring or you can go to the government services desk and ask to see a map of all the locations. Currently, we have over 50 spaces to choose from with more in the works. There are rooms to rent in almost every town and even some unseen areas, as well as homes of all sizes all around the county. From an apartment in Tumbleweed to a hostel in Ratskeller. Or maybe you fancy a large ranch house or something a little closer to town. Or perhaps you want to throw the best party ever seen in the penthouse of the Cormorant. But don't you worry, because you can just buy them all. Next, let's go over the menus and features. The door menu. The door menu will allow you a few options. After you buy or run a space, you can enter it alone or enter it with the people around you. But remember, only use this option if you know the people directly next to you. You can also see guest list. This will allow you to enter someone else's space that you have been granted guest access to. You may notice the knock option as well. This amazing feature will allow you to knock in a specific residence door. And if anyone with clearance to let you in or home, they will be alerted and can decide to open the door to let you in. Once inside the space, you will see the main house prompts in a yellow circle. Access allows everyone to see the upgraded features they have clearance for that have been purchased by an owner. While manage will allow owners to manage the space. For owned homes, this includes add house guests, view or delete guests, buy upgrades, including interiors, add discord webhooks, 
view property items, and of course, buy new items. Let us take a minute to go through some of these. Adding house guests. This will allow you to add people to your guest list once they are inside with you. There are no limits on the number of people you can add to this list. And we have created three unique levels of guests you can choose from for more customization. Owners is the highest level and will allow this person to do anything you can do except sell or transfer the space. This includes adding and deleting guests, buying upgrades, changing interiors, buying new items, or even moving the decor. The roommates level has some perks as well. A roommate can let people in who knock as visitors, and they have access to all the upgrades and features, including shared features like storage and cash box. They cannot, although, add guests or buy and move decor. House guest members can enter alone and cannot let anyone in, and they only have access to the non-shared features like telegrams, wardrobe, and the kitchen. We would also like to mention that visitors which are people that were let in but are not on the guest list, do have access to the kitchen feature while they're in the space. Each owned property has five purchasable upgrades, and some even have pre-built interior themes you can buy as well. You will need to buy the upgrades for your guests to use them. The interiors feature is available at many spaces and more are in the works as we speak. This feature allows you for quick, fully furnished spaces to come alive with the click of a button. Pick one you like, change it for a fee, or remove it and build your own limitless custom interior. The Discord webhook option allows you to set up a webhook that tracks all access to your property and shared features. This feature is the same as our Camp Up webhooks and now is available within the housing system. Next up, let's take a look at the new and improved property item system. This system has taken the best features that we developed for the camping system multiplied them, and created an amazing new system. Let's take a look at the buy new items. This built-in storefront allows you to peruse through dozens of categories with ultimately over a thousand items you can buy, place, move, style, and build your own custom interior. And you guessed it, there is no limit on items placed. You can add one bed, a dozen clocks, or even some fancy lights. It's really all up to you. The new item preview system allows you to get a good idea of how each item will look and if it will be a good fit. Although keep in mind, some items may need to be raised to get a good view. Once you make your selection, you will be granted a highly sophisticated placement menu with 12 different adjustable axes that has full controller support. This new system will allow you to get every item exactly right to make your space the best it can be, including the ability to spin, flip, twist, and roll any object. And of course, with this system, you can also come back and get full control to move, tweak, and fidget with anything you have already placed to make it perfect. Now let's take a look at rentals. Rentable rooms, as we mentioned earlier, are smaller furnished spaces. These include areas in most towns and some new locations to explore. These rooms can be rented for up to seven IRL days and then re-rented if needed. Guests can be added in the same manner for the time of your stay and both the telegram and wardrobe features are included in each rental. Customizing the space and shared features like storage and cash box are not available due to the temporary nature of the space. But for a quick place to rest your head and send some telegrams, these spaces will come in very handy. Let's go ahead and go over some things to remember. Remember that if you own any type of place camp other than a member permit, you will need to pack this up or transfer it to another citizen before you can buy any spaces. Renting spaces can be combined with camp ownership. Also, taxes are assessed on the purchase price of each space you own. So yes, you can own as many spaces as you want, but be ready for the tax man. You can transfer or sell back any spaces at the government services office. As we mentioned, there is no limit on the amount of items you can add to your own space. These items can be removed from the space for a refunded amount. Items bought at one space 
cannot be used in another. Some items from camps can also be used in the housing system, but they will then be a part of that space and cannot be picked up again. We do hope that this short tutorial helped you to understand the basic workings and features available in the new DRB instance housing system. Be sure to follow any changes to the system on our Discord upon launch and watch for more videos like this for future updates. If you enjoyed this video or it helped you out, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the DRB Studios channel for more content on games, tech, and coding. I'm Austin BMX with DRB Studios, bringing ideas to life. Hope to see you again soon, but until then, keep on creating.